Hmm. Spirit, I mean, this woman is relentless. I, I, a mania is one possibility, but the other is, you know, people love to just say this is just a terrible person. And uh, she may be someone who, well, she's clearly somebody who shouldn't be in the position of taking care of little people. Th this is the problem. Why Absolutely. all that? Why all that data suggesting that this is on the increase? Are we really traumatizing our kids so much that now they've grown up to be teachers that traumatize kids? Is that what we've done? We've yes. raised a group, yes. an entire generation, who can't take care of little people because they weren't taking care of themselves? There you go, Dr. Drew. Hurt people hurt people. So what we have is all of these emotionally needy people who are looking to relive their youth with these children. And so now the boundaries are not there. As you said, we have access on social media. We can IM each other. We can tweet. We can text. And there is no boundaries. There is no oversight. How could the school have known? You know, it's just too easy so for us to communicate. does that mean it's going to get worse? Does that mean this is the leading edge of a little tsunami? I think so. You think so? I think think so. This is becoming an training. epidemic, Dr. Drew. Look at those statistics. I know, that it's crazy, but I'm hoping it's a peak and not the beginning I'm of a trend. I'm hoping it's a peak, We need too, an overhaul. We I, need an overhaul. I definitely think that this school, this school had their blinders on. I'm sorry. Again, somebody who is so manic or extreme or so obsessive to be exchanging 2,400 text messages, yeah. there were other red flags that went Spirit, unnoticed. Spirit, where is the overhaul? Is it our family? Is it our schools? Is it our legal system? Where is the overhaul? How do we deal with this? The overhaul overhaul is in the training. It is when we hire teachers, there should be a rigorous process and there right. need to be protocols and procedures in place about boundaries. Yes. What type of communication teachers are allowed to have with children. It's okay to bond, to connect, to educate. It is not okay to befriend and to have unlimited, unbridled access to these but children. That's, that's it's dangerous assuming, for everyone. But that's assuming that these predators are rational and it's just that they need training. They're not. No, you don't know. That's exactly it. That's exactly Exactly. So you any don't amount know. of training, you don't I don't that. think would would prevent. No, you have it wrong. This. It's a vetting you process. She's saying, like more of an, a, a strict vetting process to to hopefully it is weed these ongoing, people out. It is an it is an ongoing compliance. It is an expectation and there is oversight constantly. You don't trust because the predators will go where you cannot see. I do training all the time as a, as a sexual child sexual abuse prevention coordinator. So I go in and I teach individuals the signs to look for. How do you put up protections in order to protect children? How do you make safe spaces? How do you kill hot spots in your community, in your school systems? You, know, you have to know what these are I, to protect I, our I, children. I agree with I'm a little I'm a little defeated by this conversation because we're living at a time when people with mental illness that goes untreated and undetected because their privacy rights supersede everything else can fly a plane into a cliff and become mass murderers when this is somebody that could have been treated, could have been helped, and if he had been found not to be worthy of driving a plane, shouldn't be driving a plane. If somebody shouldn't be taking care of, teach, of, of students, she shouldn't be taking care of them. In the meantime, she can be properly screened, properly educated, properly treated, and properly dealt with. If we are dealing with a tsunami of trauma survivors that are coming into our workforce, we sure as heck better be ready, ready to deal with this because there's going to be more of these boundary violations because it's been our fault. We didn't raise these kids with boundaries in the first place. We disciplined them, and we, or we abandoned them, or we traumatized them, or we overpraised them. All of it's bad.